I'm Mega Alec 13, and I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your iPod Touch and to get your iPod Touch out of iTunes, and also how to fix your Black Rain if you're using Black Rain. Black Rain is usually works with 3.1.2 firmware, and that's what I have, and I actually love it. As you can see, here is my iPod. I in recovery mode. So let's see. You want to go to the internet. Hold on a second. And you want to type in black ring. And you want black weather. You're going to get this screen. You want to pick Windows or Mac, depending what kind of system you have. I have a Windows. Now, of course, you're going to get that error when you press Run. Run. You get that. Make it rain. Focus, focus. Then you get an error. Black Rain has encountered a problem needs to close, or you'll get a file like saying asl.ll. I remember off the top of my head. Just press don't send for now. What you're gonna want to do is press Windows or Mac. You want save. You want to go to my computer. Local disk. And you want program files. Let me see, I can't see. Common files. And you want a Apple. You must have iTunes installed before you can do this process. Then you want Apple application support. And then you want to save it. Press the save button. Now I don't need to because I already have it. Once you do that, you can exit all this. Make sure your iPod is plugged in. Let me get my cord. As you can see, I plugged it in. If iTunes open, just close it out. Put that there. Want to go to start my computer? Let's see, local disk. Oh, it goes to iTunes. We don't want that. Just press that. Exit. Go to program files, common files, Apple, Apple application support, and that's where you will find your black ring. Press on black ring, and then you can press run, and you get that icon again, and press make it ring. You should not get that error. As you look at my iPod, it is now getting out of recovery mode, or either jailbreaking. You can do this with jailbroken. Just plug it in. It helps better if your iPod's in recovery mode. So go ahead, just hold the the power button to, and press slide the power off, and then do this math that it should be jailbroken. If not, then just have your thing on and it'll be jailbroken. Just go back to the home screen, and, yeah, and then you'll get that. Your jailbreak is done. Once the device reboots, for tether, run again to boot. You really don't need to do that much. What you can do. Just press OK, and you can exit that. I would wait until that, until your iPod is back to the home screen before exiting that. And see, as you can see, it works just fine. And you can just exit that out. I'm Mega Alec. Please subscribe to this video, and if you have any more, just message me, and I'll try to fix it.